Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to GeoMarvel Live. I'm Sonia, the UX and UI designer at GeoMarvel. We've walked you through creating a low fidelity mapping interface, which gives you the basic blueprint for the product you are creating. We are going to use Figma again, a web-based interactive and collaborative design tool, but this time to show you how to create high fidelity wireframes for a mapping interface. What high fidelity wireframes do is show details of form and function and provide a more realistic blueprint of the design to communicate what the final product will look like. That means using design elements with depth, such as this button with color and shadow, real content that includes replacing lorem ipsum text, high resolution graphics, precise spacing using the grid, as shown here with four columns, 24 margin pixels and gutter, branding elements such as this GeoMarvel logo, typography, font size, type, weight, iconography, and an incorporation of a color palette that corresponds with the product's style guide. So we're looking at the low fidelity wireframe we created in our previous video on the artboard that is a static mapping app design. First thing we're going to do is replicate the screen in order to transform it into high fidelity by clicking on the screen title and pressing Option while dragging. One quick thing to note here is that Figma auto saves your work. Now we're going to add the grid specifications I previously mentioned using the grid option in the right hand toolbar. We're going to start from the top of the page and work our way down. We'll start with applying the blue color from the palette and adjusting the height to 88 pixels. All the sizes and spacing will be multiples of 8. We'll reduce the font size based on the style specifications to 20. To add depth to the header, we're going to select the element and click on Effects in the toolbar and then Effect Settings for Drop Shadow. To make the shadow natural and true to real life objects, we're going to have the Y axis at 10, the blur at 20, and the shadow color to reflect the color of the button but with a 10% transparency. Using spacing bars helps as seen here. There will be 24 pixels between the header and the search bar and 24 pixels in width between the search bar and the map widgets. All elements will fit within the grid columns. The search bar will have a corner radius of 10. We'll apply the same shadow concept to the search bar but using gray instead. We'll apply shadows to the widgets as well and update the colors as well as adjusting the corner radius to 5. For the zoom in and zoom out widgets, the corner radius will need to be applied independently by clicking this icon and selecting the specific corners to manipulate. Next, we'll replace the grayscale map by screenshotting a nighttime street map, which is more in line with the style we're going with, from the ArcGIS portal and dragging it into the document from its saved location. We 
We're going to extend the map to cover the whole screen for a more sleek look. Manipulate the size to 120 by 120. Update the color to blue and include transparency at 25%. Then we'll draw another smaller circle at 20 by 20. Update the color to blue and add a white stroke at 2. Now we already have the icons in SVG format, so we can manipulate the colors to white along with the text. We're going to add a toolbar with a corner radius of 20 and a linear gradient of white. To create a type of glass morphism, we will reduce the transparency of one side to 40% and another side to 5%. The space between the toolbar and the save button will be 32 pixels. We're going to make the button 48 pixels for usability purposes. Update the colors, add shadow, and bold the text. Then we'll have 32 pixels between the save button and the GeoMarvel logo over the gray bar at 16 pixels in height and a transparency of 15%. And remember, you can access the document layers on the left-hand side of the screen. And you can also create components to easily drag and drop them across multiple screens by clicking on the element you want to create a component of and clicking on the Create a Component button in the center of the top-hand toolbar. That's a wrap for this Figma tutorial on creating high-fidelity wireframes. If you like this video, please feel free to comment, subscribe, and tune into GeoMarvel's channel for more great content.